Yeah, so for this meditation experiment, this is not militant, zen, forcing your body in some way. So make sure your body is comfortable. Ideally with the back overall straight, but it's fine even to lie down. Really allow the body to, to have no resistance and feel free to change positions. This helps to close the eyes. So first part, we just take some time to fully arrive. There may be some residual for some of us, busyness in the mind, in the body. So taking a few deep, slow breaths. And releasing the day, job, people, family. Any leftovers, interactions swirling through your field, and seeing them and letting them come and go. And with each breath, becoming more aware of this moment. Breathing out with each breath, we release the movie of the past, the movie of the future, Just like having a little vacation. A little vacation from engaging with thinking, planning, rehashing. Thoughts, the mind may still come up with suggestions. That's okay. You just see these images, pictures. Let them come, let them go. We are not so interested in thoughts. Bring the mind here, the attention here and now, the body here and now. Just arriving. And whenever you catch yourself that you drifted in some storyline, you can unhook, let go, come back to what is real. 
hearing, sensing the body. Effortlessly being aware. Noticing how the body is breathing by itself. Don't have to do anything. Noticing how the senses are working by themselves. Hearing is happening. It's happening by itself. There's no decider, no controller. We don't need thought in order to hear. Turning your attention and contemplation towards the experience of having a body. Not the body as a concept or the body as we look in the mirror, but our actual experience of various flows of energy, sensations, So aliveness, so sensing the inner body. Totality of these sensations, free floating in this aware spaciousness. Notice the sensations of the contact area between the body and what we are sitting on and the floor. And fully release the whole weight of the body, release it to gravity, to the chair. And relaxing the eyelids and the jaw. And welcoming the totality of all these energies, sensations maybe contractions or tightness somewhere, not. Fully allowing this to be. Watching them with benevolent indifference. Which means we don't want to get rid of anything we don't want to make something happen. We don't even try to understand. We 
allowing everything to be as it is. Noticing if there is any sense of trying to meditate, trying to focus attention, to do a good job meditating. Just really, just drop it. Drop the meditator. Any sense of spiritual effort, any sense of striving, to reach something or get somewhere. And we simply allow ourselves to just be. Relaxing the attention, not focusing. You may notice this inner silence. This empty, open, awake spaciousness. which is already here, it is what we really are, this aware space in which the sound of this voice arises, in which sensations flow through thoughts. We don't interfere with this flow of perceptions. It's the flow of life, the permanence, thoughts, feelings, memories arising and passing. We allow the flow to do its thing. Resting as Awareness, which note this is the flow. As we contemplate this flow of information, we notice them on an equal footing, meaning that we are not noticing just thoughts or just sensations or just sounds. We are open to all of them If there's any sense of unpleasantness in the body, 
the chest or belly or somewhere. Fully welcome it completely. This open attention. If we try to get rid of or resist, we are just getting enmeshed and we maintain it. And sense your own sense of I amness. The sense of your own presence. I am here. There is a wearing. So while remaining relaxed, no doing, resting in this open space, we are going to play with this inquiry, Corona inquiry. So we can welcome we can welcome this this file of this pandemic around the world the county so allow this to be here now in this space and we'll first kind of contemplate on the mental space. So you can even see your head as like a big IMAX, big spacious screen. And allow any of this collage of images, news, new cases, Facebook. Just allow any images And thoughts we just bubble up whatever we just see them like a slideshow yeah don't stop it don't control anything just allowing these bubbles images, movies, in the head space. And we simply witness them like a movie. And then we can try this. This is useful in case we are flooded with a lot of images or if it's kind of somehow overwhelming. But in any case, we can try to take two fingers and gently tap on the forehead, seeing images and tapping. Noticing the images but also noticing the sensation on the forehead.
and the space, the screen in which the images come. You can stop tapping. See if there is any more CDC vaccine apocalyptic parts of the world, people suffering, many people died. Just welcome any more images, pictures arising in the head. You can tap some more. The tapping is the function to disrupt some trance identifying images getting flooded. Can stop tapping. So we are the awareness, which is watching images, pictures arising. And then kind of zoom out the attention from images, come back to this sense of being here, being safe here. Witnessing. And let's turn our attention towards the body, the emotional body, the throat, solar plexus, chest, heart, belly. And observe and fully welcome any energies, any tightness, contractions, knots, stirred by the images. And fully let them in. They are here, so let them be here. If you feel somehow peaceful in your body and there's no problem, that's fine. Nothing to manufacture. However, if there is any unpleasantness, any sensation, fear, worry, whatever, we just welcome them and observe them inch by inch, frame by frame, where they are. Small, is it big, is it needles, is it hot? without trying to do anything to them, nothing. It's not going to kill you. Just take them. Ah. So notice them, but also notice the space this spaciousness in which the energies are floating through. And as Buddha said, 
when a sensation arises, a feeling arises, check that it's not me, it's not I, it's just a sensation arising and passing. I am witnessing them. Ah. Now relax the attention and zoom out. Zoom out, come back to this being present to the totality of now. Noticing the background of aware peace. And release custody over the sensation. Let them do their thing. We don't need to focus on them. They come, they go, they can stay. They are not who we are. And offer any residual sensation, offer them to the presence in which they appear. Just being present. So let's do another little cycle. So going back to the head, to the mental realm, comprised of thoughts, images, pictures, voices. Because that's what these thoughts are like voices in the head. And so let's welcome this, you know, like this will be a all this information about economical crisis, financial shortage, money, job, what I'm going to do, what other people are going to do, can't do what I want to do. Even you can have like this, like global financial crisis see it like subtitles global financial crisis economic collapse riots whatever and welcome now any images pictures a whole collage arising in you in this presence If there are many and somehow we get hooked to them, we just we can tap gently, noticing the images as well as the tapping. We can just let go of tapping and just be see if there's anything else. Okay. 
Even as Buddha said, whenever a thought or an image arises in the mind, check that it's not me, it's not I, just an image, a thought arising and passing. I am the witnessing, watching them come and go, unharmed, unscathed, opening the attention and staying as this aware space. And let's now explore the feeling body. So completely welcome any stirrings in the body, like before, tightness, contractions. Just being with them. It's not going to kill you. Just take them, just try. Fully letting them in. Release custody over them. without trying to get rid of them. Just clouds passing, some fast, some stay longer. <sighs> Feel yourself as this aware openness in which these various sensations arise. Don't focus into them. Open the attention. You may notice maybe some unraveling, some discharging. If something persists, just check that you're not focusing into it and let go resisting it. Like a gracious host, this feeling, this sensation can stay as long as it needs to stay. And as Buddha said, the sensations, tightnesses, it's not me, it's not I. It's a sensation arising and passing permanence. I am that which is aware of them and in which they appear. Sometimes these sensations, they, they have their life, their shelf life. <laughs> so even if we are not identified with them, we watch them, they are there, it's okay. We can't care less. Release custody, release agenda. It's not me, the sensation appear in me as this open, aware, 
alive, indestructible presence. We are not engaged in some work to get rid of unpleasant sensation. What we did is just to welcome them and not identify with them, see them for what they are, energy, arising in consciousness. Ah. We stay as what we really are. That which now is hearing, sensing. Yet free, unhurt by any image or sensation or feeling. Ah. And in a moment, but not quite yet, get ready to externalize your awareness. And we can gradually allow for the eyelids to slightly open. Not focusing on anything, just allowing seeing shapes, colors, light. Free from memory, free from the need to label. So look around the room or around the space where you are like these little kids do naturally. Just open. So, you know, now that which was seeing images with the eyes closed, the same awareness is seeing images, the eyes open. Sensing your own being as seeing is happening. 